Finally, a sense of normalcy for breweries, wineries, and distilleries across the state. Public health officials announcing these businesses no longer have to require food with drink orders beginning today. KCRA 3 Stephanie Lynn has reaction tonight from a local business owner and customers. Ken Anthony serves up a crisp, tall pint of his locally brewed craft beer. I think anybody that survived 2020 uh, has a bright future ahead. Cautiously optimistic, he says, of the days to come. Saturday, marking the first time wineries, distilleries, and breweries like his can serve customers without a food requirement. It really reduces the stress and the pressure for us to um, you know, be able to safely serve our customers. The owner of Device Brewing adding his downtown locations have have always partnered with food trucks and vendors. But after the food requirement, we had to scramble to, you know, be able to offer that food uh, every hour we were open. But that's no longer an issue for him or his customers. Well, I think it's great. This group of family friends toasting to a gradual return to normal life again at the brewery's pocket location. Emma Gorski is a regular. We're excited. We had a few friends that lost businesses here in the pocket this year, so it's really important that we get back to our normal. Others hopeful the relaxed regulations will drive revenue for local businesses, keeping doors open and diversifying shopping options in the neighborhood. I think there's a lot of folks that come in here and just want a beer and don't want to have to pay for food. So uh, to have these businesses take advantage of that type of clientele, I think it's huge. The state initially required breweries to serve food with drinks to prevent customers from lingering in large groups, which can spread the virus. Under the new rules, breweries, wineries, and distilleries in red and purple tier counties are still restricted to 90-minute seating time limits, outdoor service, and an 8 p.m. shutdown. However, the California Craft Brewers Association shared this week that businesses can stay open past 8 p.m. if a meal is provided. This is a big step forward for us. We're, we're happy to see it. The work continuing tonight to keep doors open and spirits flowing.